Take heed what and how you hear. Mark chapter 4 verse 24 Then he said to them, Take heed what you hear. With the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. And to you who hear, more will be given. Luke chapter 8 and verse 18 Therefore, take heed how you hear. For whoever has, to him more will be given. And whoever does not have, even what he seems to have, will be taken from him. In John chapter 10 and verse 27, Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. What a great sense of belonging and intimacy Jesus expressed for those who believe and trust in Him and are obedient. Christians must read the word of Yahweh to know what He is speaking to them about. The believers of Christ must yearn to know the heart of Yahweh and desire to be obedient to it. Believers who know their frailties and weaknesses must surrender these to seek divine help to surmount their failings to the victory Christ Jesus obtained to enable the new person in Christ to walk uprightly. The what you hear comes from the conditioning, the mind to think godly thoughts and rejecting evil suppositions. This is lucidly and clearly brought out in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8. And I would recommend that you read it about what you think. As the man thinketh. Romans 10:17. So then, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Therefore, this faith kindles believers to act in accordance with Yahweh's will. Unquestioning faith does open the heart to what Yahweh is saying. Believers' concern should be at what every word Yahweh says, and it must fall on eagerly receiving and fertile and tended soil for the seed of truth to be appropriately nourished, to grow, thrive, and endure. Check Acts 17 and verse 11. It is the fact that the more we seek to understand Yahweh, the closer we get to Him through Christ. The closer we get to Yahweh, the more we have of Him without restraint. For Yahweh is our Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, our provider. Therefore, in accordance with Matthew chapter 7 and verses 7 to 11, Remember to ask, seek, and knock in spirit-led discernment and God-provided wisdom. God's love is beyond measure. Amen and hallelujah. Shalom, my dear friends. God commands Take heed what you watch and how you hear. That's in Mark chapter 4 and verse 34. Then he said to them, Take heed what you hear. With the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. And to you who hear, more.
Psalm will be given. And in Luke chapter 8 verse 18, Therefore take heed how you hear, for who, whoever has, to him more will be given. And whoever does not have, even what he seems to have, will be taken from him. Do subscribe to this vlog.